Hello everyone. Um, I found a very very interesting little game. Uh, it is uh, a prototype title. It's not ready in any means and uh, as you can see it's version uh, 1.10 and this game's name is Chess the Gathering. Uh, it is a genre mix or something like that that uh, combines uh, chess and uh, yeah, uh, yeah, trading card game, and I found this idea is such a brilliant one that I uh, wanted to make a little video about it. Uh, since I don't think there's uh, players playing this somewhere. Oh, actually, there is. Uh, no, wait. This is my name, Sir Namskal. Uh, anyways, I will just uh, present in a local game. Um, you can play it with, I think, four players, but uh, four is grayed out. No, it's not. But I will take uh, two players right now. Here you can select some of the pre-made maps, but you can make your own ones. Uh, I'm not going to explain too much about uh, how it works. I just want to show it in action. And I will create a game. So, okay. This is the map. It looks like a chessboard with some uh, missing details, but uh, doesn't really matter. You can draw your own maps, and uh, these are the cards I have. Um, this fish is like a bishop, and this is a queen. Uh, there also is a rook. Uh, no uh, knights or pawns in this game, but uh, other than that, you have the chess pieces. This here is the mana cost for them. And uh, since I have a bishop on my hand, you will always want to. I think it is um, starting with a bishop is very good because you can cast him right away, and he will increase the amount of mana you get per turn. Uh, for every piece you own, you get more mana. So that's why the queen and the rook are not so much more powerful because they also only generate one mana. So bishops are very good thing, or fishops I'd like to call them now. Uh, so I will accept that, and, and since I'm playing myself, now I'm player two. This might be a little confusing. Um, I will no, I will redraw because I don't have a bishop. Now I have a bishop, and I will accept it. Uh, the game is. I haven't seen any more tactical turn-based game. Um, besides maybe chess itself so uh, it's I, I will show how brilliant this is okay uh, first of you don't have a starting position and the other difference is uh, this this thing here is kind of the king it moves like a king and you have two of them actually and this makes it completely new uh, compared to chess because uh, if you can uh, give check to both kings, it will, re will be really troublesome to get out of chess because if you lose one of your uh, twins, you have lost the game, so you don't have to kill both of them. And there's another concept, it's called uh, it's line of sight. So um, you can summon the, the fish up, for example, uh, but only in the line of sight, and the line of sight is like a queen moves with the exception of the uh fields directly adjacent to the king and that is because you uh to prevent you from just uh summoning a defender uh, directly next to you so it will be a little harder to defend your king uh i think i will place it well placing it here it might be very dangerous because if a rook comes here y you have no uh, opt uh possibility to escape it is probably i i really don't know what's a good uh strategy it's it's like in chess but no one knows how to play it is it's like a new chess i think it is maybe good to place him here and now i'm orange uh see the board from the other side so i i also s i don't know if i want to be in the same room with this guy because he can summon a creature all around uh, all in this so it's the second move uh, the, the the guy who moves second has an advantage and a disadvantage at the same time 
he now can react to the position of his uh, opponent so for example I could place myself here and then I could summon stuff into that room but I'd like to be able to summon stuff on the light squares that's why I I think I'll place myself here no then I cannot cast there um, I will maybe okay I don't know if it's a good idea to leave uh, the center to my opponent and um, one thing uh, you might think it is not a good idea to start on the same squares but in the first turn uh, green uh, which is like white in chess uh, has to move uh, you, you have to move there is a Zugzwang so uh, you have to move always and that's why I will place well I, I want them to be a little bit further uh, away from each other so they can't be checked so now I uh, will I risk ga going here no I, I, w I will try to get control over them from from the sides I'll get go here I don't know if this was a good idea so now it's uh, green's turn to move okay I I will move this guy here okay now I can summon a creature and I will I will summon a fish up and let's see one thing uh, I, I can't get my rooks out of here uh, through this so I, I will have to summon them outside of the and right now I don't have line of sight outside of this so I couldn't summon a rook but I can summon a bishop and I think I will summon it here so this uh, orange king already is in check and yeah and now he can't summon something in here but uh, I think I'll move out of check first and then I will summon my own bishop uh, unfortunately uh, if I summon here it can be taken by the opponent's fish uh, but that's why I prefer to place it on the light square like this so I don't have any more mana now it's green's turn automatically uh, okay now I see the disadvantage I can't uh, of being here and and the advantage of these small areas here because uh, I can't bring my fish up down here without him uh, been taken I need to give back up but I don't have uh, any more of these uh, I can only then summon a queen but I I need more mana and uh, I get three mana per turn right now because I have uh, three pieces so my my kings and my bishop they all give me mana uh, but uh, when it comes to moving I will I think I will move down here so he can't do anything really about it and now I will have to pick a card so you see there's not only pieces to summon you can also uh, do stuff like this wrap around this is uh, for the snakes uh, which are the rooks and now I see I've made a big blunder I uh, haven't seen that I'm in check but it still lets you move so you have to watch out for this yourself but there's also the other spells this is a swamp and I have to cast it here this is the only possibility to survive the swamp means that if a piece steps into it uh, it can't I, I wanted to save my mana but now I need the swamp so uh, it, it can't path through it can pass into it and then it needs another turn to get out so if I place it here he can't take my uh, my king or whatever this is supposed to be and if I move into here of course it can be taken from the king so uh, 
probably not not such good of an idea. So what else? I I have ricochet and I think I can use it uh, quite effectively. I can put this uh, king into check by going here and then casting ricochet on my fish. So I don't know. I think I have the three mana right now, but I'm not sure. But if I go here, he can come close here, but I can still flee. Um, let's see, I'm I'm really nervous to this and I don't know if, if my uh, playing is sound. I will move here and now, yeah, I have the three mana, I will have six mana. I w won't have six mana next turn because I will now cast Ricochet and now he can bounce off the wall and then attack the king anyways. That's why this king now is in check once again. And uh, this also means this guy can't move up to here because uh, otherwise I could take him. Unless, of course, he summons another creature to block the path. So uh, there's nothing else to do. So I skip the turn and see how uh, green reacts. Uh, I myself am green, so it up to me to react. Okay, if I if I move out of the danger, I mean my king can easily move here because, uh, but this wouldn't be too smart. I want to get off of the light squares because then uh, I obviously cannot be attacked anymore and this piece is just uh, relatively worthless. But I, the other thing is, I now I could uh, save my. Uh, I could step up to him and uh, then force him to move away and protect my other king by placing another swamp here that blocks the ricochet. And uh, but it costs two mana, and I won't have these two mana next turn. But uh, the threat of having his uh, fish up being attacked will will force him to waste his move on on saving him and but uh, then again wasting mana to to the spell I'm not sure which is the best I will I will just do it for the for trying out so now he is attacked and I will place another swamp here and this king is well protected from uh, from bishop. Uh, no bishop can uh, single-handedly attack him now. Uh, wrap around only useful on queens and the rooks. But since I don't have any of these yet, uh, I will skip the turn and save the mana for next turn. So now my bishop is under attack, and if I don't want to lose it, I obviously have to get it out of the way and it is relatively useless here uh, going out here doesn't make a lot of sense but I think I could place him here this would uh, protect this guy from anything coming out of this room and yeah I, I will do this I'll move him here and any summon no I, I will skip this uh, turn I don't need a swamp to protect myself and I want to save the mana for getting a queen next turn. So it's green's turn now and um, I think I would just uh, move up to this fish so he needs to be defended. One, two, three, one, two, three, so I will take this guy because this guy has a well is, is well defended here and I could summon another fish now um, yeah I could could get a relatively cheap f the fish uh, costs two mana and if I cast it here and he has to take uh, otherwise his fish up is pinned so um, I d I if I hit this one was more expensive because it has uh, ricochets so I will Oh, I don't have vision here. This, yeah, that's also quite important. If you don't have vision, you, I, I can't just cast it here next to my king, right? 
So I'll have to cast it somewhere else. Here for example. I think I will do just that. I'll cast it here and then I can move it here next turn. Yeah. Okay, wrap around once again not useful. So I'll skip the turn. And now it's Orange's turn again and uh, Ricochet is not going to help me where I am because I just can... Let's see, yeah, it's, I'm just on this diagonal and this Ricochet is now completely useless. Uh, but, yeah, I, I could uh, move up with the King here, so if he takes I can retake. But actually... Uh, can I get him out of the way? I I will get the king out of the way so I he can't be ki uh, pinned. And now I can summon a queen. The question is where do I do such a thing? It's really hard to to attack into this room. So let's see. I will summon a queen. Not this would protect this guy, but uh, it would also create a pin, and I don't think that is what I want. Mm, placing it on these squares also not advised. I I I will then uh, may I I don't know if. Um, if I can go here through there if I cast this other spell I haven't played this long enough but if I can then I think it would be good idea to cast it here so I would have uh, I could check this guy then and yeah I will cast wrap around on the queen to see what this does for me okay Okay, this guy is not in check, so this wrap around doesn't allow him to to go all. I think he will only be able to get here and not uh, over this edge here. So I will. My, I think I will just get closer to this guy because. Uh, he maybe just will move out, but I'll move here and then yeah i I can summon another bishop this but what square color do I take? I think I will take another black one so I can then pressure this king down here, and I also can summon queens later, okay, now I have four, and I will skip the turn. Okay, now let's see how my queen can move. She can move here uh, because of the wraparound. She also can get here because of the wraparound. But I obviously don't want to do this. If he defends his uh, entry with the bishops, it will be really hard to get in and the queen won't be of much help. Hmm. Yeah, it's just really well defended. But I might come in from this side. I could go here and then the next turn I could move here. And that's what I'm going to try to do. Okay. Now I can summon a rook. But... Uh, I kinda need to do this with line of sight into this uh, area which I don't have right now. I'd really um, I'd really like to to get into here but this will be tough. Um so casting the rook outside of this area would be total based because he could never actually get in 
So I think I will skip the turn and not cast a rook. So it's Green's turn again. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to attack this bishop. This was my current goal. Uh, or the other idea would be checking this king, but I actually would prefer doing so with a queen. Um, I have enough mana, so I will retreat this bishop here. And then I will cast the queen here. This should be possible. Okay, let's move him here. And cast the queen here. And now this king should be in, in severe trouble. Uh, I will skip and let's see how uh, orange deals with it. The queen could come here and attack everything in, in this room. Uh, I'd like to... yeah, I, I might just get out of harm's way. And maybe I can get a look into this room. I really don't know how to attack into this. This is... Uh, this kind of board is not really suited for uh, good attacking play. Hmm. To get line of sight I would have to step here. But maybe this one gets line of sight anyways. If I go here, this defends this guy. And now I could... Could I summon a rook here? No. The line of sight is blocked by my own piece. Now that's terrible. So I will move him here next turn so I get line of sight, but then he will probably place something in between. Or I will. Hmm. Maybe I should still just summon a queen. Uh, I, I might have used this queen to get here. This was my original plan, now I remember. Um. I have 8 mana and I will get 4 and there is a cap of 10 so I, I really should cast something. Um. I can cast a defensive swamp here or here so I don't waste any mana for next turn and then I can skip turn. Okay, now this queen... Uh, yeah, I can still move here and give check, which I will probably just do. I could... Ah, I have an idea. I could wall him in here with a, with a wall, so he can't escape out of this room. That's but I have to move first. Yeah, but this should be really easy now. I think uh, Orange is struggling to defend right now. Okay, he's in check now. And what can I do? Yeah, I will. I will uh, cast the wall here, and he is. He now can't escape because uh, the wall prevents his movement. And I still have mana left, which I could. So it is obviously much better to uh, start inside this area and not outside because you you really don't have any room to to avoid enemy attacks in these small areas. So it should have been obvious that uh, that it was a dumb idea, and I should probably have just challenged him by uh, casting myself into this room as well. So let's see, a rook uh, doesn't make a lot of sense because he never can attack out. 
so I will well I could just I could cast him for additional mana. I can cast a wrap around on my queen. Okay. She also is in this swamp and now Oh the wrap around means that also this king is now attacked and this king is attacked too and the thing is uh, I have a square to move away I can move here but then uh, he can ha come here and it's pretty much checkmate and the problem is I also have this one but I can protect it with a spell uh, I actually think it is smarter to move this one out of the way and then I can cast a spell uh, I can cast my own wall here so the queen uh, the queen can't pass through yeah that's what I will do I will move this one out of the check and how much mana do I have? I have 10 mana so I have enough mana to cast a wall here you can by the way you can rotate it but uh, I think I like the I like it this way. Uh, no, there's a wall and the check ends, and I still have mana. For example, for another bishop. Yeah, I could place another bishop. So uh, if the wall gets destroyed, he can. Uh, destroy the wall by running one of his pieces into it or by casting another wall on top of it this will destroy it uh, then his uh, queen is under attack and I also have another I don't have a, an orange bishop yet so uh, I mean I don't have a dark squared bishop yet for this side uh, but he would be totally trapped but there, on the other hand, there is nowhere else where I could place it. So as I said, it is really stupid to be on these side squares. Uh, I could cast Ricochet on him, but uh, I don't feel like uh, that's necessary or good. So I will just skip this turn. Okay, now Green's turn. Hmm, this bishop can't escape if I attack it. And this one can't be protected by the king. He has to move it. Can I... This, uh, okay. I can go in here. And... Yeah, I, I first have to dispatch. Hmm, I think I might go here, and I could then sacrifice one of my bishops to uh, explode this wall, and then this king once again is in trouble. If it is even re necessary to do so. Um, I will cast another queen because I can so I also can pressure this king and if I can pressure both kings and this queen here is totally useless for him uh, since I have enough mana I can and, and rooks are useless anyways I can also give her a wrap around so she can uh, move through the sides not too useful okay now it's orange's turn uh, there is no n immediate necessity to move, but I I can go here. Can I move into this wall? Why can I do this? I think this would kill myself. Oh, seriously? Now uh, I this was this was supposed just to try it out. It should have warned me to not walk my king into a wall. Now I killed myself. 
this is something which is not really possible in normal chess but obviously in chess the gathering it is possible so uh, since there's no take back possibility I think I will wrap around uh, wrap it up and uh, goodbye.